In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure FinSuite's cookie consent with Google Tag Manager. If you're using Google Tag Manager to manage your third party scripts, then you should follow this setup that we're about to show you. Otherwise, if you're adding scripts directly into Webflow, like Google Analytics and Facebook Pixel, then this video is not for you. This is only for Google Tag Manager users. So without further ado, let's look into the configuration using Google Tag Manager. I have Google Tag Manager open here. And the first thing that I have to do is install Google Tag Manager on my site. You might have this already installed. If you do, just make sure to delete the no script tag from the installation. So I'm going to copy only this code over here, skipping this no script code because this no script tag here is not going to be GDPR compliant. So keep that in mind. I'm going to head over to Webflow and I'm going to add this Google Tag Manager script right below our FinSuite cookie consent script. Now, remember how we were adding the attribute of FSCC of type equals FSCC here. We're not going to do this with Google Tag Manager. We're not going doing the same thing with Google Tag Manager here. So we're going to hit save and we're going to publish our site. Now we're going to head back to Google Tag Manager. And we're going to start creating our triggers. Before we do that, I just want to let you know that I created some tags here because normally on your Google Tag Manager account, you would have tags like Google Analytics, Facebook Pixel, uh, Google Optimize, whatever you're using. All right, so let's head over to our trigger tab here and we're going to create some triggers. To do that, we're going to click on new and here we're going to name our trigger something that makes sense. So in this case, I'm going to call it analytics cookies activated. Okay. Or you could even call it just analytics cookies. That's okay. And under trigger configuration, I'm going to choose other custom event here. And as the event name, I could write anything. In this case, I'm going to use analytics activated. You could write anything you wanted. This is just the name of the variable. And then as the trigger, you want to set the analytics activated event. So event equals analytics activated. And you're going to save your custom event. Now, what you want to do here is add also personalization cookies and marketing cookies, depending on the tags that you're having. So we can just add here marketing cookies just for the sake of this example. And here I'm going to write custom event, marketing activated, some custom events, event equals marketing activated and I'm going to hit save. Now here we're going to click on tags and this is where you're having all of your tags. So this can be, as I said earlier, Facebook pixel, Google analytics or whatever tags you're using. So we're going to click here on our Google analytics for configuration and I'm going to edit that. So I'm going to edit this trigger and as a firing trigger, I'm going to set analytics cookies. So when the user gives permission for the analytics cookies, then we want to activate the Google analytics for tag. All right, we're going to hit save and we're going to save this. Okay. And right now we can preview if this tag is actually getting fired. So to do that, we're going to click preview. Here we have our domain. I'm just going to copy that. There we have it. And this should open a new tab with our site. Now here, 
we can see if we approve all these cookies, if we hit save, then if we head back to our tag assistant, we should be able to see this. And as we can see, tags fired, we can see our Google Analytics tag has been fired. All right. And right now, let's head back to our site and let's change our preferences to see if our Google Analytics tag is not going to be fired if we turn off analytics to make sure this is working correctly. So here I changed my preferences. I'm going to refresh the page to start a new debugging session and let's head back to our tag assistant. And here I can see on top the newest event and I can see that Google Analytics 4 was not fired. All right, now what you want to do is submit your changes here and that's it. You can give it a version name, let's say analytics added. And here I could write a description if I wanted to. I'm going to publish this and that's it. And that is how you configure the Google Tag Manager with Pinsuite's cookie consent. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Check out more FinSuite videos to keep learning Webflow.